What's up guys? Mac Daddy Michaels here, as you can see by this gigantic truck. So let's take a look, see what he's got. Come on. Well, almost a weekend. Almost. <laughs> Can't almost. get here quick enough, can it? A busy weekend coming up, but it's it's. Oh yeah, I got a lot going on. Yeah, we got to go to a wedding in Starkville this weekend, and then I got to run Memphis Sunday. So hmm, that's good. Well, it should be busy all weekend. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. Well, looks like you got her loaded down. Yeah, we stocked her back up this past weekend. Mm. A lot of tools on this truck. Well, did you get some of your sale stuff you talked to me? I did. I got your stand down there and uh, those two body panel stands you wanted. And I ended up getting in a bunch more of the seats back there on a the bargain too. So. Cool. Did you get those tables in? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Want to did. show them off. That was a good deal. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was good. For sure. Y'all gonna be running any Black Friday specials? I'm wanting to come up with something. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. Um, uh, I, we were talking about that the other night. We want to do something for yeah. Black Friday. The hey, week, if these women the will spend a bunch of money that week, we might right, as well do it too, right? Absolutely, you know. <laughs> absolutely. Everybody's Christmas gifts should come off a tool truck. I got a lot of people that do that. That's about what mine is every year. Like usually everybody gets either a new light or, mm -hmm. you know, if they don't work on nothing, everybody needs a light, you know. Yep. So. Flashlight or a pocket knife, one or the other, you know. That's it. Hard to beat that. So. Sure enough. Like I'm probably gonna get my brother a set of these Nipex, these baby bolt cutters. Mm-hmm. They'll cut. I kind of got him hooked on the Nipex, and I was telling him about those bolt cutters, which he only came, he only seen them that one time on the Snap-on truck, and of course he didn't have up with the smaller set like that. Mm -hmm. So I told him, I said, yeah, that's what you need. And I kind of left it alone because I thought, because it was just a couple of weeks ago, I was like, man, that, that'd be a pretty good Christmas gift right there. You know, something he can use a Absolutely. lot. Absolutely. Show enough. Absolutely. I'd rather get a guy something like that as a socks or underwear like that. that sucks, man. God. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's stuff you need, but yeah, yeah. it's no fun. Like I can buy my old socks. <laughs> <laughs> my old socks and underwear. I like uh, I like toys. I'm, yeah. I'm still like a little kid. Like when I open the box and it's just clothes, I'm like, uh. <laughs> I like to get toys. I think Christmas is about the only time I get new clothes. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that, I don't guess, but I sure enjoy opening them toys. So tell everybody about these. They, uh, we're running them on a closeout. They're regularly 60 bucks, and we've been doing them $20 a stand, so. Man, yeah. When you said that, I was like, get me two of them. You can't build a set of sawhorses for mm -mm. that, I mean. No. I was thinking like pulling those bumpers off those 680s when you work on the front of them, you know, man, that'd be so much easier just to throw mm -hmm. that up there. And those have a 750 pound rating. Mm -hmm. Like you can throw a piece of plywood across that and use it for a table if mm -hmm. you want to, you know. Absolutely. Can't beat it, especially for $40 for a pair of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Sign me up on that one. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have to show those, if you got them tables too, let's show them because they're... Uh, I. Yours is the only one that hadn't been delivered yet. Uh-oh. They're done. Done, huh? I think they lasted three days when I hung it up in the truck. Well, tell everybody about them, because that was a... The uh, adjustable height, roll-around work tray tables, you know, with a little drawer in it, 75 bucks. <laughs> How awesome is that? I mean, you can't So it's like it. I got the stands and the, the little table thing for less than what the table mm -hmm. would normally run for. 
Can't beat it, guys. That's why you got to stay in touch with your dealer. That's it. That way, when they come up with these great deals, they don't last long. You, you got to get, get on them. That, hey, I'll take one before it even comes in list, because that's where the key is right there. That's the key. And then uh, the monster bar stools and the roll around seats back there. How much are the uh, stools? Seventy nine. That's not bad at all on those. The roll seats same way. How uh, how tall are the those? Are they the short ones or the like? They the get up size? regular bar stool height. Really? Mm-hmm. That's cheap enough. Seventy nine bucks. Yeah, I'll probably have to get one of them too because you can't never have too many stools and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a cool logo on them. Yeah. Man. That's a pretty cool design. All of them orange or they got some different colors? Uh, Just orange. That's all I got. That's good enough for me. Mm -hmm. I'll take one of them too. Yeah. Uh, Actually, for that price, I ought to take two of them. Cause <laughs> if not, next week I'll be like, man, I should have bought two of them and you won't have none. And then, <laughs> then I'll be screwed. So, yeah, go on and give me two of them too. And I got in the Mac coats for winter this year. Man, yeah. That's the front of them and that's the back nice. of them. What is them run? 129. And it's a nice, like, Carhartt type coat, too. So, got the liner and all in it. Mm -hmm. Has it got the YKK zipper on it? The what? <laughs> That's the brand of the zipper. Like a YKK oh, zipper stamp. Man, I have seen in the past if a jacket's got a YKK zipper on it, you might as well go on and buy it because it's a good one. For some reason, them zippers, they just don't ever fail. Hmm. The best uh -huh. zippers I've ever seen. That That's is, crazy yeah. when you pay attention to zippers, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just you, though. You pay attention to little details. Yeah. Well, learn to recognize quality and <laughs> yeah. it is what it is. Dang, I'm going to have to go get a, a hand truck to haul all my junk off here today. Because I want two of them stools and two of them stands and Got a table. I, I still got the quarter inch socket set you like that you've showed once or twice. Got last one I got on a deal there. Yeah, that was a little rich for my blood. So. Like I would take the sockets out and use, put them in my box and I'd use the case for like camera gear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had one guy that bought one and pulled that top foam tray out, put it in his box and put his pistols in the other. Mm-hmm. That's why they so. use it, you know. A lot of guys will probably take that socket set and throw it in their box and uh, throw it in their box and never use the case. Now this is something we've not looked at before. It's light season. It's getting dark early now. Yeah, buddy. That's the part number on it. 1500 lumen, rechargeable. Oh, well, if it nice. goes dead, you could still plug it in and keep using it. Nice compact size. It's got low, medium, and high. Comes with the stand that is magneted, or you can put it on a tripod. But, and you gotta pull hey. to get that joker off. A Joker's Brian, ain't it? It is. What kind of run time's it got? I don't know if it says it on here. Uh, See, this is that light addiction that I have. It's like a terrible feeling right now. Because, like, I see it and I want it because I can recharge it and use it plugged in. Um, which it don't say, but I can tell you this much. We live here in Tupelo. Mobile, Alabama is... Four and a half hours, might as well say, from Tupelo, depending on how you drive. Uh, guy left it on under a motorhome one morning at a shop here in Tupelo. And they made it all the way to Mobile, Alabama with it still hanging under the truck, hanging down like this. The guy pulled up to a truck stop, saw the light on, called the shop, and said, Hey, 
I got somebody's light who ever worked on my motor home. It was still on and shining under the truck. Oh, and so, if it had not been on, he'd have never seen it to know it was under there. Put it in a box, UPS'd it back to him. Well, how, how much is it? That light is, oh, I want to say I'm just over two. The light fetish is terrible. 247. 247. I like it. I bought, actually for Christmas, my mother-in-law got me a uh, one that's on a tripod stand that's mm -hmm. rechargeable, and I love it. But you can't take it off and use it like that one. That's why I was like, I kind of got excited when you mm -hmm. pulled that one out, because that's the only negative I have of the other one, because a lot of times I'd like to be able to stick it under something I'm working on. Yeah. But it's got the three settings, and... That makes that metallic blue box rather pretty with all that light shining on it. Mm-hmm. You see the sparkles in it. I can't believe that box ain't I so can't good. either. Man. I think a lot of it is you can't tell the real color of it in the truck. What you need to do is put that light on just it. Just let it ride yeah, and shine on it. Yeah, just magnet it right here and let it shine down across it. And that way guys can see the sparkle. And that's a done deal right there. So... Well, I guess let me get all that junk. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be a load. It's going to take half a day to put them stools together. I'd oh, yeah. That, that, that cart will probably, that table the cart probably there. The, same, the same way. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. I guess that's going to wrap it up today. Like always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Merchandise over here. Cool tools and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed, you take your finger and you click that button. Just press it. All right. Y'all have a great week. Catch you next time. See ya.